about that life, that makeup life. I know like people, you know, have mixed feelings about Miley. Mm -hmm. But I just really like some of her songs. Like the good, like pretty much all of them, you know. I mean, Carl's young. Let her be crazy now and live life. I think. So I'm totally skipping uh, my Pro Longwear Concealer. I'm just kind of lazy right now. And I'm not even going to be out for that long. I'm going to take my. I'm going to take my. What is this? Perfecting Loose Powder. I'm back. And I'm sorry for the mess behind me on my bed. If you can see that, I'm going to try to crop as much of it out as I can. But I just, I didn't plan on filming today. It's like a last minute. It's like, I should, I'm getting ready. So, and I have a little bit of extra time. So I'll just do a get ready with me. But I didn't want to go all out and like make my bed and clean up. So please, don't judge. Don't judge people, okay? I'm usually really good about making my bed on a daily, on a daily basis. Using my powder foundation, and this is a Flawless Light Powder brush from Sephora. Now I'm going to take my Hula, Hula, Hula bronzer. And y'all know what this looks like. I'm gonna take the little brush start contouring totally forgot not to contour over this pimple because then it just like brings more attention to it but it's too late <laughs> I already hit it with my brush what's done is done pretty girls have big foreheads Ugh, Justin Timberlake's playing in the background. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but my friend Savannah just went to this to the JT concert. I'm so jealous. I haven't seen Justin in concert since he was an in NSYNC people. Okay? That's a very long time. And I'm like, turn. You know? And obviously, like every other girl, or the majority of girls, Justin was my boyfriend when he was an NSYNC, you know. I'm taking Peaches Blush by MAC. Summer's over, because it's coming to an end. My birthday is on the 24th of August so it's right around the corner like two weeks or something and I am so sad because my birthday always kind of like finishes off the summer for me the school is like literally the next day for the majority of us people and it sucks you know what but I always try and go out with a bang even though this year I'm just feeling like I really don't want to I just, I want, you know, gifts and dinner, and that's it. Like, I don't know. I've just been feeling like such a homebody lately. Or like, you know, I want to go to like a, a bar with like, um, wine and like artists singing, like local artists or something, you know, like where I can sit. And if I decide to get crazy and dance, no one will judge me, you know? Like that kind of bar, you know? I'm not trying to go to some place where I like can't breathe and like my boobs are on like some guy's back and it's just like 
sweat, you know, just sweat everywhere. I don't really think that I want that this year. <laughs> I can hear my dog coming into my room. Theodore, and I totally tell it's Theodore because his little paw steps are so like, <laughs> like light. Some people don't understand me and my my obsession and my love for my dogs are like not animal people so they kind of look at me like they're crazy and I'm like Ugh, you don't even understand the love that we share okay um I'm taking this medium matte brown from the artistry eyeshadow palette I'm just gonna deepen up that crease girl so I went recently to get a haircut. I don't know if you guys can tell. That's where my hair is now. It's like right at my boob. Like the, the nipple part. <laughs> um, but it was longer and I just, I had, it was just so damaged. I don't know, my, I've never had this problem and I always, I mean, I, I take care of my hair but maybe it was just, you know, I was just in need for like a good cut. Because I, I, I really never get haircuts. Like, when I told the guy who was doing my, cutting my hair, like, I haven't gotten a haircut in, like, six months. And then before that, I didn't get a haircut, like, for a year. He was like, <gasps> <gasps> like, so, so offended that I said that. And I'm like, I just never felt like I needed it. Like, my hair is always really healthy. But, and he still didn't cut off, like, all the dead ends. Like, he needed to cut off, like, this much more. And I was like, you know, it was going to be, like, up here probably, like, collarbone. That's what he wanted to do, because, like, to cut it and style it and everything, most of it was going to lay, like, this area. And I was like, you know, I'm just not ready for that commitment in my life. <laughs> all my long hair girls know what I'm talking about. Like, it's just hard to commit to short hair when you're so used to having medium to longer hair because you know you're used to the way you style it and it's just hard it's a hard commitment but I will tell you that I do feel a thousand pounds lighter <laughs> just cutting my hair I really do well I've been so sad because my boyfriend has just been working they've been working crazy out like he has a regular job you know like a regular you know nine to five and lately he's been having to finish like projects and kind of like be in charge of projects and so they have been working him like literally I'm not kidding you he'll leave the house at like 6 45 a.m. and he won't get home till 10:30. 11 if not later and I'm like is that illegal is that illegal <laughs> to like work people that that long and it's not cool because I don't see him and guess what today is Saturday and guess where he is working like you know what I'm gonna write a letter I told him <laughs> I mean I'm not really gonna write a letter but I want to because I'm like look it should be illegal to take away weekends from from me to you now i'm taking nylon my all-time favorite highlight look at that girl i also want to say thank you to the girls who have been following me or started following me on instagram i've been getting a lot of love lately from girls that have found me on youtube and I just want to say I love you guys so so much I just love being a part of a beauty community and sharing my love for makeup and beauty with other women like around the world like it's just so amazing to me that we can all connect you know through this crazy thing called the internet and I love looking at y'all's pictures And I, I just love you guys. Y'all are my girls. Mascara, my voluminous carbon black.
I'm skipping the falsies today because girl ain't got time. If your eyebrows take long as like hell, like longer than it takes to do anything else a part of your makeup routine, if your eyebrows take the longest, thumb this video up because do y'all feel my pain? Like. It's just so tedious and it takes so long. I just wish I had like naturally full gorgeous brows that you know I went through that stage in middle school that a lot of us go through where I mean if you're like a 90s baby you probably went through this stage in middle school where you like over plucked the hell out of your eyebrows because you wanted that skinny brow look. <sighs> I cry every day wishing that I could just go back. Like you know like people ask you if you could go back to your young self what would you tell yourself? I would not even say anything motivational to myself. I would just say girl put the tweezers down. <laughs> That's what I would say. Put the tweezers down, Kayla. You're going to regret this moment for the rest of your life. The lady, I went to a different lady. Because mine, like, all of a sudden was not my threading lady to do my eyebrows. All of a sudden, she, like, I never do videos like these where I just talk to you guys. And I want to talk to you guys. I think I want to do... I enjoy watching videos like this, so I was like, why aren't I doing more videos like this, you know? Look at my big thing of lip products, y'all. And I'm like, I need to think of, like, a cuter way to organize this stuff. Not that I don't like it, but, like, when I want a color, I'm like, I'm gonna dig my hand in, and then I just make a mess, and then they're not organized anymore, and I'm like, Fab. Just fab. Pink nude. Really? Yes. Pink nude lip liner. This is In the Buff. Number 225 In the Buff. From Ulta. Y'all know this is like my... If you watch me, you know that this is like my... My baby, my, I pull it out every once in a while because I don't want it to finish. Um, I was looking at, I went to Ulta the other day and I was looking at their lipsticks. This is Please Me Cream Machine Lip Gloss by MAC. And I was trying to see if they had it because this lipstick particularly, particularly came in a holiday collection. And this is the finished look, you guys. Zoom you guys in. And I have enough time to get dressed. Yes! So, I enjoy talking to you guys and having y'all get ready with me. Or me getting ready with you guys. I don't know. Uh, either way. But... I really hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys so, so much. You guys are amazing. And um, please subscribe. Um, I will put my Instagram and Twitter somewhere up here. And yeah, um, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching. Mwah. Bye.